Hello everyone, welcome to part two of this little series on how to create waving grass inside of Unity. This is the approach that we've used inside of um, Echo Tales, the game we're currently working on. In, in Echo Tales, we have this special grass shader. It does a lot of things and is influenced by, I mean, shake timers and everything you can imagine. But we're not going to go that far. Uh, instead, we're going to just create something really simple based upon what we learned in the first video. So let's start up a new shader. We'll make this one, um, for now, we'll just make it unlit. Alright, uh, if you don't know this since earlier, you can go in here and change your path. Like that. Alright, so let's say we, we just want a texture for this first. So let's set up a main text here and I'll put the RGB value into emission like this and I don't want to do any I don't I don't want this color at all so I'm just going to delete that and then put alpha into opacity clip this is just a standard approach to create anything that is going to have a material so let's check this out yeah okay cool now what I'm going to do is based upon the first one we first of all know that we need the vertex colors and we chose red. So we're going to multiply everything that we get in the end with this red. And what that does is that our lowest part of um, or lowest part of the grass won't shift because of the black color already there. Okay, so first up, let's add a value here and this one I'm gonna call intensity you could also right click this if you want and make it a global value then you could just set this easily for everything inside of uh, C sharp for example I'm just gonna keep it local for now uh, okay now then first of all after this we're going to need our time and we are going to make use of a cosine to move our grass. Then we want to get our UV coordinates. And let's just do one minus here. And then we want the X and we want the Y. There we go. Now we're just going to multiply these. And this is just to get a, a nicer effect. So what happens if we put this into the vertex offset and everything just just moves. See, let's add a cross patch in here and then you can see everything just wobbles around like that. If we just put this in like that, it doesn't do anything really. This is just to get a nice gradient. So let's put it in there and multiply it by the vertex offset. And now you can see we already have something that looks sort of like a, a waving grass. Now, if we just put these out now, every single tuft of grass is going to look the same and move the same. So what we want is to get the world position and let's just throw in a sinus curve for that. I'll grab the X position and add another multiply node. Plug that in here. And then we could plug this in. And there we go. Let's see what happens now. Uh, well, you can't see it that well now, but once you have it out in the scene, you're going to notice this. Finally, what we want is a multiply node to get the intensity up like that and now we could throw this like to 10 and things are going to go mental as you can see this is actually moving the grass in every direction and I at least 
don't want this to move in the y direction so if i hold control and then i can just move this entire set of nodes so what i'm going to do is before i multiply by this or after it doesn't really matter i'm going to add an append node and just create a value of zero put, plug that into y I'm going to put this into Z again, and then add that to multiply like that. And now it just floats or waves from right to left. Let's see if we put that down to one again. This is probably the simplest way of creating a, a nice controllable vertex shader for grass. Now at least you can experiment with this one. As you can see, this is not double-sided yet, so let's go to Geometry and turn off Backface Culling, make this double-sided, compile, and now we can see it from all directions. Cool. Let's toss that onto my grass here. Simple unlit, and let's see what happens when we press play. As you can see, they're not all moving exactly the same. This one isn't moving a lot at all. And um, it just gives it a bit of a more dynamic feel. Cool. Um, let's uh, check out more of these. So this is just a PBR version of it. So if I open this in ShaderForge, what I did here is I just simply started with a, a new shader with a lit PBR mode instead. And then I just threw in the exact same settings. So this is the exact same node network that we just built in the unlit shader. And uh, the unlit one is maybe for mobile or something. Uh, I've tried it out and it doesn't cost anything. It's almost free sort of and there are easier or I mean there are less costly ways of doing these as well uh, this kind of operations but this is for a simple startup for anyone who's interested and um, yeah that's it check out our game echo tales if you're so inclined that would be very nice follow us on Facebook and uh, in the DB or Twitter and such and uh, if you do, you're going to get more of these uh, sort of nice tips as uh, we develop them in, uh, in our game. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe as well on my YouTube channel uh, for a chance to get more videos. Yeah.